Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, just want to share some um, info with you. Uh, well, this is the store that's uh, finished made. Um, this is a quick coupling connector I've got on. That's my parrot. That's where the alcohol is going to come out down to the bottom and it's going to raise up into this tube. And that's where I'm going to put in my alcohol meter. And that is, uh, the alcohol is going to overflow into this little cup here and it's going to exit there into the bowl or whatever container you want to use. Now on this uh, condenser um, I've got a hose that's just connected up to it. Uh, then it's got a, a tap, uh, it's a needle valve tap to control the water flow of the inlet. Then further down I've got just a, a brass hose fitting which I made up out of um, a brass joiner and a barb thing which I uh, actually glued in with epoxy glue or JD weld. So the water comes in here it goes through the condenser all the way. Then this outlet is on the top end of the condenser. That draws up in this tube again. It draws up in this tube. And just bear with me. It goes into the reflux condenser, which is the top part. It goes in there. Try and get a better view. And that's where the outlet is going to be. So it's going to go through the coil, which is inside here. That's uh, screwed onto that part there. It's just joined there. So that's a two-part column. Top end there is the reflux condenser. It's got some uh, stainless steel pot scrubbers, or you can put copper, copper mesh in there. This uh, bottom condenser, it's got copper mesh in there and some copper saddles. Uh, the whole condenser is, the whole column is filled with ceramics, about three kilograms of ceramics. Then right at the bottom where it's joined onto the pressure cooker's lid, uh, it's got a nut on the inside. That's got more copper mesh at the bottom so the saddles don't fall through. So that's how it looks like. It's the the pressure cooker. Then I've got this um, condenser. It's just uh, joined up onto this is the vapor in. So that's a vapor pipe that's just coming out of the column. That goes right on top there, right to the top. I'll get a better view of that. So that comes straight out right at the top end. It's also got another copper plate that's been welded on the inside just about one and a half inches below the actual outlet which is this one here. It prevents the vapors from going up straight into the tube and it acts like a actual like a, a, a baffle or plate so uh, condensation can't, can't go straight up into it. So that's where the vapors is going to come out runs all the way down in this copper tubing just down all the way to the bottom here yeah, I've got another elbow and then I just got to join it it's from a three quarter inch it just reduces three quarter inch to half inch that's the inlet of the condenser where the vapors goes in and then it will start cooling down as it goes through this water jacket and then the vapors just uh, the water liquid condensed liquid will come out here yeah I've just got another joiner which I just joined my parrot on with and we'll run down this tube there down at the bottom all the way up to the top we'll have the alchemeter sitting in there so we can take the reading it will overflow into this little cup here. It's got another little tube in there. Little pipe. And the alcohol actually 
exit here. This um, micro tap or needle valve, whatever you want to call it, that's to regulate the water flow of the outlet. So you've got to try and get about 500 milliliters per minute on the outlet. And also, I'll be putting in uh, on the outlet pipe, which is this one here, I'm going to put the, another T piece with a temperature probe in so you can measure the out, outlet uh, temperature of the water, which should, should be about uh, between 55 and 65 degrees. That's the temperature of the outlet water. So this hose will just, it just goes down. And that's your outlet hose that just goes into the garden. So, um, and that's, that's about it. All these couplings are easy to take on, to, put, to take them off and put them back on. They've got little O-rings on the inside which doesn't touch the actual vapors, it just touches the pipe. This is um, one of the fittings, I'll just show you one of them. So it's got an O-ring on the inside, it's got little uh, clips on the inside, it holds a pipe. They call it like clip seal or tube fit. Then this uh, copper tubing, it just goes in like that. There's a little O-ring on the, on the inside of these. It seals it and the clips to hold it in place. So just bear with me, you've got to push it in. So try and focus it. I'm just holding, not holding the camera. So I hope it works. So, so there it's kept in, and it can't pull it out. And then I've got a special tool here. It just clips over the part like that, and it just slips. And you pull this part back, just like that. Pull it, and you pull the hose out. That the copper tubing out and there it's all released. Very easy, very simple, they are very expensive these fittings, they're about uh, $10 each um, but you get them in different sizes, you get also this uh, different, uh, this releasing things, you can get it from some plumbers or maybe uh, some auto shops, um, then you get half inch straight, that's a half inch straight, that's a 20 millimeter, that's a half inch elbow, and then just a couple of other elbows and, and uh, reducers and uh, half inch 90 degree bends that I'm going to use to make other little things up later on, so we can just, it's easier to connect and disconnect. And um, yeah, that's that's the whole setup. So that's how it looks like. So the vapors will go up in this main tube here, main column. It will come inside on the ceramics. The vapors keeps on rising, and it goes through the copper mesh up into this top end of the column which is another reflux uh, condenser which I wound it which is on the inside of this and then uh, that's the vapors out which is just on the top end of this copper um, and then you got your water in and that one's your water out so it doesn't matter which one's in or which one's out you can have it in either of the two so, that's all how it looks from the top. I got this one as my in, and that one as my outlet. But like I say, it doesn't matter. That's just your vapors out. It goes down in a copper tubing. And your vapors exit here and into this uh, copper tubing that's on the inside of this water jacket 
and this is my condenser and the vapors exit here or a liquid back into there and that's it so that's all I can show you um, I'll put a video up when it's hopefully up and running uh, thanks for watching cheers